so I wanted to talk through a framework I've been using with a lot of my clients recently, um, which is a res possible set of responses to conflict. Um, now conflict might be something that we perceive, it might not be something that someone else perceives as an outright conflict, but it's a, that tension or difficulty we have with another person, it's something that we are feeling and experiencing as conflict. Um, for you, that could look as simple as a criticism, it could be an outright full-blown argument, right? Or it could be a little bit of negative feedback, um, which can feel very much weightier um, as the person on the receiving end. And when we're faced with these difficult situations, we have four options available to us. The first option is to blame ourselves. I should never have been in this situation in the first place. They're going to find me out. They're going to realise I can't do this. I was an idiot to even put myself here in the first place. I'm always making mistakes. And this, this response of, of blaming oneself, of taking the conflict and internalising and making it belong to ourselves, comes at a huge cost to our self-esteem. Um, it brings with it guilt, shame, even depression. Um, but it's a way of, um, I suppose, containing and making sense of a conflict that we have. But it doesn't serve us in the long run. Another option we have is to blame the speaker. And this is a little bit more um, outwardly combative. So perhaps if you're someone who sees yourself as shying away from conflict, maybe you go for the first one, not this one. But blaming the other person is the kind of counter-attack response. They are always finding fault with me. How dare he have that kind of comment? He can't do a presentation any better than I can. So that the kind of counter um, attack response, and it is it it preserves our sense of self, but it doesn't really do very much to resolve the conflict because. In almost all of these situations, what you're looking for is a compassionate response from the other person. And when we go on the attack, they go on the counter-attack as well. So we have a much more inflamed situation that isn't necessarily going to do much to meet our, um, our actual needs in this situation. A third option we have is to explore what's going on for us and explore our own feelings and needs. Um, and... This is somewhere where we can start to inquire ourselves. It requires us to take a beat and say, huh, that really stung. What's going on for me? And it might be that you needed recognition of all the work you'd put into something before someone jumped in with what you could improve. Um, it might be that you're feeling exposed and vulnerable in the relationship and there's insufficient trust to tolerate this kind of um, discussion, it may have been the wrong moment, um, but it starts to give us a greater clue as to what's going on for us. And equally, our fourth option is to explore what's going on for them. When we perceive them as being critical of us, were they perhaps trying to understand a little bit more? Was their pointed question not a criticism of us, but a desire for more information? because perhaps they're feeling a little bit lost and insecure in this moment in time. So we can take a look and we can take a beat and we can go, hmm, what's going on for you? And as a general rule of thumb, I would say when, that whenever someone is being unreasonable, there is a reason for it. It might not be a reason that you um, want to work with, but there's usually a reason. So when you're next in conflict, four options. Blame yourself, which I'm not going to particularly recommend. Blame the other person, which can feel good, right? Giving vent your anger feels good, but it's probably going to do very little to resolve your actual situation. Inquire what's going on for you in terms of your feelings and needs. Inquire what's going on for the other person in terms of their feelings and needs. Uh, this framework is from NVC, that's Nonviolent Communication, that's um forefather of which was uh, Marshall B. Rosenberg. I highly recommend it. It's a very complicated discipline once you get into it in fine detail. But there's value to be had simply from those inquiries. Let me know how you get on.